Welcome to New York, or more accurately, New York according to the Real Housewives of New York. What are we walking into? Yes, that's right. We're taking you all around the city and the Hamptons to show you how to live life like your favorite Roni gal. You said I to me. I thought you'd be happy to see me. We are checking out some of the most iconic spots from the show. I'm gonna beat the shit out what? of you. What? We're not friends. And we are doing it in style, thanks to our friends at Tri-State Cadillac. We are taking their all-electric Lyric all around, and it's so chic. So hang out with us and check out some of the places you've only seen on TV. With some of your favorite ladies. We heard they might be at some of the spots. We're riding an extra style today, Emma. Oh yeah, we're leaving the city. We're going to the Hamptons. We're doing it in Cadillac's iconic electric car, the Lyric. We are going to Jill Zarin's luxury luncheon. So I know you're probably like, wait, 24 hours in New York, where's the city? Babe, real Roni fans know so much of the drama happens out here. But I work Can I just say something? Yeah, sure, why not? You always do. Everyone's prettier in the Hampton. Everyone is prettier in the oh Hampton. Oh my god, everyone looks so oh pretty. Oh my in gosh. The Kristen Tegman, we are so excited to have you back in our reality TV universe. And you know what? It's fine now. So now what? You're fresh off of filming a Roni Legacy Girl Show. How are we feeling? I feel good. Did you have fun like seeing all the ladies again? I did, honestly. I really did. I, it was like really great to get to know Kelly because I knew her socially from being in the Hamptons and stuff, but like never really filmed together. And then we didn't really know much about each other, so it was like nice to get to know Kelly. And because you had that time away, when you got back into the belly of the beast, were there moments? Because some of your other ladies were on the trip, so that Dorinda was stirring up some drama. I, I think know. you're gonna have to just watch and see because I can't give too much away. <laughs> now we're here for Jill Zarin today. She was not on the trip. How badly do you wish she had been on the trip? Honestly, Jill's amazing, and I think she's also TV gold, and I think like she brings like a different kind of spice to it all. So yeah, I hope to get to work with uh, Jill someday. We are obsessed. Every Bravo celebrity here. I mean, this event is so beyond. So many icons are here, but we're gonna go meet the queen herself, Jill Zarin. Oh! There they are! Oh my god! Jill Zarin and her daughter Allie. Danny and I, this is our first time at Jill Zarin's oh, luxury luncheon. Not your last. Oh no, I mean I'll keep coming as long as the invites keep coming. I mean this is right, we started this in 2013. How do you think the event has evolved over the past 10 years? And congratulations by the way. Thank you very much. And it's all, you know, for Bobby Zarin. We were married for 18 years. Maybe 17, and I said 18 somewhere by accident. And I know he's here today. Someone told me there are butterflies all around, so there's one. There is that me. your sign? I, 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 it wasn't before, but it is now. The first year, I think I had 15 housewives here because I was still on the show and whatever. It just worked out. But today, we had a lot. Today was a lot. You are the ultimate connector, Jill Zarin. You always have been. What is it like sort of figuring out the guest list every single year? Because I always look forward to who's going to show up to your luncheon. Oh, do I? If you can teach people who want to throw their own fun party at home, what is something they should do to throw an event that's almost on par with a Zarin fabulous? Well, it's very easy. It has to be a nice porta party. Yeah. I never do the cheap ones. I have to have great alcohol, but it's really the guest list. I've had years with better food and worse food, better drinks, worse drinks, better stuff. It's the people. If you have good people, you have a great party. If you have bad people, you can have the best food. It sucks. Look at this drama Excuse she's me. creating at your Excuse party. Me. I apologize. Nobody wants to leave here, I don't think. Like, it's so much fun. Everyone is just vibing, having a great time. But do you know why they do leave? Because they want to make sure we don't run out of gift bags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like the Hamptons is so integral to living a true Real Housewives lifestyle. What do you love so much about the Hamptons? Because your journey on the Real Housewives began, like, in the Hamptons. I used to have a house in Hemlock Farms up in Pennsylvania. And then just my life, I got divorced, changed. We bought a boat, Bobby and I, in the city, and we didn't know where to go. And we hired a captain, and he said, oh, I can get us a spot in West Cove Marina in Sag Harbor. We had no idea what that was. We come out by boat. He brings us to a whole bunch of house parties, made a whole bunch of new friends. And then I'm like, okay, we got to get off this boat. We need a big house with tennis court, swimming pool. And we did that. And that was on the show, Housewives. You said I to thought me. you'd be happy to see me. Thank you, Jill. Thank I feel you. like we could talk forever. I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. After catching up with two former New York Housewives in the Hamptons, we hit the road again back to NYC. Well, actually, Brooklyn, to visit one of the newest Roni Housewives who's already making waves this season. 
Oh my God, Evan and Danny. Oh, we're on our way back from the Hamptons. We'll stop in Brooklyn. Since you're here, you might as well come in, but I mean, obviously take your shoes off. Well, thank you for having us. I mean, I feel like your home is kind of a secondary character oh. on The Real Housewives of New York City because so much has gone down here. Including like the first scene. I have wanted yes. to be right here since Bryn walked in with the shams and you guys were unpacking the drama from Erin's little party. I just want to tell you, it's weird if you don't like cheese. This is me interpreting Erin <laughs> telling me the story, okay? She's like, you know, and Cy comes over and Cy's like, what's that? She's like, that's cheese. And then supposedly Cy goes, that's weird. Cheese is not weird, it's delicious. I, I just, I have to say that. Is it weird if you don't want to go to Um. <laughs> it was a huge group, nothing was available, it was last minute, so I picked we have some cheese for you. Yummy. Yeah, are you excited? <laughs> I am excited. Let me see what you brought. Let me make sure you bought like good cheese. You didn't want to have a feud with cheese. A feud with cheese was thrown on you. And I did not want to subscribe to it because I love cheese. And I, I have to be honest here, I don't I don't understand it. I really I don't understand how it happened, to be honest, but I'm here to clear the air. I love it. I've never actually made a cheese board in my life. As someone who does love cheese. Yes. Have you ever made a cheese board? Do you have any like charcuterie skills? The creative in me just needs it Ooh. to be filled. You're not gonna mince words. You're gonna judge our cheese board. I am. So I'm creating. A mouse board? <laughs> this could be for the rats. So let's, I'm gonna cut it in half. Your board is a little small. It, it is a little, okay, she's dragging us. Um, <laughs> this is an LA, I'm already feeling the LA vibe. Oh, this is a diet board. Was there a rat here? <laughs> just, this, okay, so. <laughs> Should we just bite it? Like, should we just bite into it? Well, why not? You love like, cheese so much. Up. Oh God, it smells like someone's feet. The rats might love <laughs> the it. The rats might like it. If there was uh, someone on your cast who might be into this cheese, who do you think it would be? Definitely not Uba. Oh. No. <laughs> no. We found out Uba doesn't like cheese. She's the anti-cheese girl She's the anti-cheeser. Anti she cannot stand cheese. She was gagging at the fondue at Jenna's house. Oh my God. The wow. plot twist. So this table, this is where Bryn's giving yes. took place. And now tell us about that because that was such a special and beautiful moment on the show. We learned so much about Bryn. We learned that you are like the best friend ever and we could all be so lucky to have you in our social oh, circle. So just thank you. Talk to us about that thank side. you. It was a really sweet moment. I just for me Thanksgiving is a big deal in my family. You know, we're Puerto Rican background so we cook and it's just a time to feed everyone around you. And I think that's the thing with me. That's why I'm always eating or I, culturally I'm used to going to someone's home and just immediately being like fed. Food is love. Food is love. And I think for Brynn, when she came in and she saw all the effort that I, I did, I think she did feel very loved. I hope she felt very loved. To built-in family, we love you. Yeah. Thank yes. you so much, Sai. Love Thank you, Sai. Others serve uh, caviar and Pringles, which doesn't necessarily fill the tummy. It doesn't fill the tummy. They put the caviar and Pringles. Aaron. One of my favorite moments when you were talking with Jessel about how she got insulted that you called her old money. You seem like you do come from money. Seem like there's some old money there. Yeah. Maybe it's the English accent. How could you, do I smell like wealth? Like, a, I would love that. I think my kids would I'm... like this cheese plate. <laughs> They look like old money. Yeah, they, they are old money. Your kids are old money, <laughs> yes. 100%. I think this is looking really good. I'm gonna dip these oh in. Oh, she wow. is indulging in my cheese plate. We wanna play a quick little game before you kick us out because we know you're very busy. Okay. So we're gonna play a game. Wait, let me get you a napkin before you get so oh cheesy because all I see is the cheese all over your hands. I secretly wanna <laughs> lick your fingers. Do you, do you wanna adopt me? <laughs> so we're gonna play a game with Sai. It's called that's so easy or let's get cheesy. Basically, we're gonna ask her some questions and if it's easy to answer, you're gonna be like, oh, that's so easy. But if you don't wanna answer, you're just gonna shove your face with something from this delectable cheese board that we just created, okay? Okay, got Sounds it. Sounds good. The first question is, is it okay for couples to have an agreement to flirt with other people at parties? <laughs> <laughs> the next question is, is it okay to ditch a party and go get sushi if you're hungry? That's so easy, of course. Should I leave? Yeah, wow. The lingerie Jessel was gifted. Would you wear it? Or do you think it was, what she said, like hideous Christmas tree? I would wear it. I can rock anything, honey. That is a Christmas tree. I'm a Christmas tree. You hardly ate cheese. I feel like maybe because maybe you're like secretly disappointed in my, my cheese board. Oh, oh, wow, look at that. Okay, now you have to leave this. Yeah. Just my, my teeth marks are all here. This is gonna be in the BravoCon Museum. Next, we left Brooklyn and headed to the meatpacking district, right to the scene of a very famous Roni moment. 
Okay, so we are at one of the most iconic spots where one of the most iconic confrontations happened in Roni history. I just want to make something perfectly clear with you so that we're on the same page. We're not friends. Oh yeah, we are shaking with excitement because we're at the Brass Monkey where Kelly Ben Simone infamously put Bethany Frankel in timeout. Bethany needed timeout. She let her know that Kelly's up here, Bethany's down there, and I don't know where she'll put up. We're not the same, okay? This is you, this is me. We were supposed to meet her at Brass Monkey. Yeah, right? no, she's coming. I, th I think she's on her way. She's, she's just running a little late. Okay, I mean, I feel, how long did Bethany wait? Because I don't want to wait longer than she did. I think she was 30 minutes. We're almost there, we're uh -huh. not, it's not completely Hey guys. Oh! oh my oh. God, hello, hi. How long has it been since you've been here? Um, 11, 12 years. So your last time here was when you were with Bethany for The Real Housewives of New York City. Yes, yeah, so and now I'm with you guys. Is it feeling like Celine Dion? When you walked in, is it all coming back to you? Or I literally was singing the song when I came upstairs. <laughs> it's all coming back, it's coming back to me now. And what is coming back to you? Let's set the scene. Okay. The actual scene. It's fashion week. We just started filming, so we're doing the show. And then I was trying to get the ladies to come to the fashion shows with me. I was like, hey, I'm gonna I'm going to these shows. And so Bethany kept canceling all day long. We filmed here at seven o'clock at night, pouring down rain. I remember the boots. And I'm like, okay, I have like a window because it's Friday night, I have to get my kids to the Hamptons. Like I'm a mom. Also um, fashion week. Also yeah. fashion week. So when I walked in here, I was like, a I'm not gonna lie, I was a little mixed. Thanks for coming and meeting with me. Thank you, I've been waiting like a half an hour. Really, that's too bad. You're late. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, well, we're not friends, so it doesn't matter. I'm like, yeah. we're not friends. <laughs> well, at that point, I was like, we are not friends. Cheers. Cheers to being late. Yes, cheers to being late. We were very similar, like, you know, very much entrepreneurs. I liked that we had a similar excitement for life, but we were at different times. Like, I had two young girls. I just gotten divorced. The good news is that, you know, she made me into Kelly Benson. Hey, look at that. I, mean, I didn't even know who Kelly Ben Simone was yeah. until she said, <laughs> that's Kelly Ben Simone. Like, who's that? We were just at um, Jill's luncheon. How and was we it? Talked to, it, was, it was fun. It was hot but fun. And we She's talked to Kristen so Takeman, great. who was like, I was so excited to meet Kelly and like have a great time with her. So speaking of new people, she had a fun time with you yeah, she was so on Ultimate fun. Girls Trip. I don't travel a lot with women. I mean, I'm, I either travel with my kids or I travel for work. And so I was like, oh my God, this is actually so fun. You get to have like Aperol at 10 a.m. and no one says anything. I'm like, this is amazing. To be honest with you, I wouldn't be engaged if it weren't for those women. Really? Really? Wait, tell us about that. I can't tell you about that. Will we learn on Girls Trip? You will. Kelly Ben Simone is eternal. You guys are so, see, like even everyone knows Kelly Ben Simone. Thank you, Bethany Frankel. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a Kelly Ben Simone. That is the perfect way to end here at the Press Monkey. After eating all that cheese and drinking with Kelly, we thought we should squeeze in a little workout. We are outside Trinity Boxing about to meet Martin Snow, and I mean, we're so excited because so many real talks and pep talks have gone down here. And this is where Tinsdale was born, the artist formerly known as Tinsley Mortimer. Oh, oh, Don't let this outfit fool you. I got a mugshot. Four pumps. Oh, about to pump up even more, too. Oh, yeah! Nice Martin, see nice to see, see you. Nice to see you. <laughs> you guys ready to do a little boxing today? I think we're I think ready. we are. All right. I feel you'll be the actual judge of how ready we are. That's what I'm talking about. Who's Dinsdale and who's Dorito? I, f I feel like you're- Pick a team. I'm, I'm Dinsdale. Yeah, you're Dinsdale. I'm, I'm Dorito. Everyone uh, who watched The Real Housewives of New York City thought it yes. was Dinsdale, but you were no. saying Dinsdale. It's Dinsdale. And where I got it from was, remember Monty Python? Yeah. All right, the Piranha Brothers. Doug and Dinsdale Piranha. You know, doing that show was a lot of fun. I had no idea what I was doing or what I was getting into, but it, it turned out all right. I was like famous all over the world. Yes. I was at an airport in Rome and people were like, can I get my picture with it? Like that. Wow, how did that feel? Well, if I got free coffee, it felt great. Otherwise, I didn't give a We've been spending today doing a little tour like a real Housewives of New York, and that's why we had to finish here because ah. everybody loves watching the ladies get to like a different side of them here. Yeah, that you really, you know, create a space for them to let out their aggression. You give them the pep talks that help them figure I it out, fight it out. Little, yeah, they're f***ing nuts. Take those rings off. Yeah. You, you understand that my hoops are like a signature for me. So you're like, I'm losing a little part of myself right now. Okay. I take them off. And nobody and gives I a All right, both of you guys over here, I'm going to teach you how to walk and how to talk Ooh. like 
you're in a, like a fighter. Okay. All right? Okay, okay. And then as a bonus, I'll teach you how to walk and talk like you're from Brooklyn. Hands are in position. Step in. Step back. Keep going. Cross. Go. Cross. Jab. Jab. Cross. Oh. Oops is not really a proper oh. term for boxing. Oh. Shit. Okay. Yes. This isn't a workout. I am sweating. My, I feel yes. like my core is like very activated. Feeling centered. Yes. Yes, I'm, I I'm, like I'm that. I'm feeling exhausted. All those women on the show, people freak out. They're like, oh my god. The housewives are celebrities to celebrities. I train celebrities, and they're like groupies for that show. What celebrities do you train? Celebrities. Yeah, but I can't tell you. Ah, but ah. they like they love that show. You said but, you knew Leah for like 10 years, like before she yes. even was on the show. When she got cast on the show, did she let you know? And were you aware of The Real Housewives were before she got I didn't know anything about the show. I just, she said, hey, can you, can we film at the gym? I said, yeah. So they came down, they filmed and they liked it. And they came back again. And they came back again. The Real Housewives are real heroes. We love and that. And you guys are too. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. It's great to see you guys. See and you. I'll see you guys. Good night, Leah, soon. Okay. And we'll do a little more boxing. All right. Next time I'll put the gear on, you can punch me in the face. Okay, so from the Hamptons to cheese making, brass monkey to boxing, we really did the day in a Real Housewives of New York City Minute. And thanks to Tri-State Cadillac for providing us their lyric to drive around. It was so glamorous and it was so air-conditioned, which is great because we just worked up a sweat with our boy Martin. We need that now. Yeah.